What's up, Wilton? My name's Alex Kay, and this is Warrior Sports Week on Good Morning, Wilton. Let's get right into this week's episode. I'm here today joined by AD Rush, and we're going to talk about the winter season. So, Mr. Rushton, what was it really like being the AD for Wilton High School this past winter season? First of all, it's amazing, right? Um, when I look at it, I always look at it in terms of how many athletes we have participating. So we had over 330 uh, winter athletes, you know, across a, a, a myriad of different sports. Um, so number one off the bat, I think, you know, being the AD of over 330 athletes and families and, and getting to watch uh, and get to meet uh, families and get to meet the kids and see them compete in the sports that they love and train for all year is really exciting on my half. We're going to start it off with the boys swim and dive team. They finished their year five and five against FCAC teams and will compete in the class M swimming trials at Cheshire. That will be on Saturday, March 11th. Cannot wait to see how their swimmers will do this upcoming Saturday. The girls ice hockey team at the varsity level finished 11, nine and one. They had a number of great wins one being a 5-4 overtime game against the Hall and Connor team. Another one was a victory against Massac in which they scored a mind-boggling 12 goals. Overall, it's been great seeing the growth of the girls' ice hockey team. They will be an exciting group to watch in the future after this past season. Wilton Wrestling finished their season and competed in the Class L SEAC Winter Championships placing 21st as Xavier took first place, but Wilton also had an FCAC champion in Jaden Sebra. This team has grown tremendously from 10 to 26 kids, and it was great to see so many first-year wrestlers this season. As is the case of many other Warrior teams, wrestling just keeps growing and growing, and it looks to be a very bright future for that group. The Wilton Varsity Girls basketball team finished their season at 8-12, qualifying for the Class L SEAC tournament. They played their game on this past Wednesday, March 1st, but lost to New Britain 44-33. Looking at this team, they have a lot of players that will be returning next year, and their shot making on this squad is just phenomenal. It'll be exciting to see what they can do next year. The Varsity Boys Ice Hockey team made the Division III SEAC tournament as the 12th seed and will play JBWA today, Monday, March 6th at 8 p.m. in Danbury for their first round matchup. This team was a blend of younger and older players with a starting lineup consisting of seniors, sophomores, and a freshman goaltender. They'll be looking for a win today to advance them to the second round. The girls' gymnastics team made the Class M SEAC Winter Championships that took place on February 25th at Jonathan Law. They placed fourth with a score of 134.225, with their highest scores coming from the vault and floor events. The Wilton High School Auxiliary Gym is an electric atmosphere for such a consistently impressive team. The Wilton Boys Varsity Basketball team finished the season with a 14-6 record with 127 total points and made the Division I SEAC tournament bracket as the 11th seed. They'll play the Notre Dame and West Haven team on Wednesday, March 8th. After such a thrilling season with so many good games in it, including a buzzer beater game winner at home at Zioli Fieldhouse, I cannot wait to see what the Warriors do in the tournament. The ski team had a very successful season again, capped off by a great performance at Mount Southington for the annual state open on February the 27th. The Wilton girls secured their third straight Class S state championship. The boys and girls teams both took third place in the combined race of the Class L and Class S teams. It's amazing how this team does so well every time they're out on the mound. And the Wilton High School indoor track team had multiple runners compete at the New England Championships. Jill Roberts took second place in the 55-meter hurdles with a time of 8.22 seconds. This was a school record for Wilton. Senior Tristan Burke placed seventh in the 1,000-meter run, and the girls' 4x800 relay took 15th place as well. It was a huge weekend for Wilton indoor track. 
What I love about being part of Wilton is everyone's proud to be a warrior and we always get the go blue white spirit and the go warrior spirit. Um, so I look forward to that continued, you know, win or lose, that doesn't matter to me, but finishing strong and, and finishing being proud of all the effort and work, hard work you've put into it. Um, then you get a little break and, and, you know, sure enough, March 18th will be here and we'll be outside, hopefully with some good weather, uh, getting to watch in spring for So I'm looking forward to that and looking forward to wrapping up the winter season. Thank you everybody as always for watching this week's episode of Warrior Sports League on Good Morning Wilton. It's a great special episode this week. As always, my name is Alex Kay, signing off.